Hi, this is Hank Hennegraff, president of the Christian Research Institute and host of the Bible Answer Man broadcast with another Hank Unplugged short. This one is from my sister Joby, and she is asking for prayer. So she's writing this, this message to family members and friends. She's excited that God has permitted her to have chemo once again. But she has a special prayer request. And she is asking for stable results and also for people's continued prayers. And she expresses her sincere appreciation to all family and friends willing to pray says, Joby, without your prayers, we could not keep going on in this very tiring journey. So we sincerely thank you. And then the beautiful poetry that falls from her lips. Joby says, the beautiful summer days of these past months are now transitioning into the fall season. Each morning, I eagerly look outside before the sun rises to reveal an absolutely beautiful scene. A white, thick mist hovers in the distance over the yet unplowed fields. I see the mist, the mist which has settled with heavy dew on the rooftop of our neighbor's house during the night and by now is steaming and beaming and, and vaporizing upward, lifting toward the skies, and it begins to evaporate as the morning sun starts to peek through the misty-filled clouds. This mist, this mist which has brought by night the silent secret dew, by morning's light reveals its adorning, the silvery, translucent, delicate frosting of the moisture on the branches, the twigs, the needles of the pine trees. And then even as I watch the steamy mist everywhere arising upward to meet the sun, it takes my breath away. This is my creator at work. My creator who each day paints a new picture of his mercy for me. I stand in awe, surrounded by the shrouded earthly clouds. And I see how rapidly the mists begin their journey back upward as the sun breaks through all the cloudy whiteness. It is breathtakingly beautiful. Then, in just a little while, it is over. The sun has won, the mist is gone, and the verse from James 4.14 4, comes to me. What is your life? You are a mist that appears for a little while and then vanishes. That, that verse from St. James strikes me anew because I am just like that mist which has absorbed my thoughts these fall days. I'm only here for a little while, but I am made in his image. Someday I will rise like a mist from my earthly existence, ascending upward into the sky to meet the sun, my Savior. Then as he parts the veiled cloudy mist, as he reveals himself to me, as he takes me by the hand, as he, as he brings me with him upwards through the misty clouds until above and beyond all of this world's vision-hampering clouds, I will finally finish my journey at his heaven, then the realization will be complete. I have been redeemed into a new image for his glory. I am home, finally. And then she ends with those beautiful words, which she ended her last missive with. I look forward to that day. Again, this is written, these are words 
from the lips of someone going through an arduous chemo journey, someone who is suffering pancreatic cancer, but someone who loves the Lord and quite evidently knows that the heavens declare the glory of God, the skies proclaim the work of his hands, Day after day, they pour forth speech. Night after night, they proclaim knowledge. And my sister understands the speech and is absorbed in that knowledge that comes from her creator. Thanks for tuning in.